Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Uh, the Ubatres won't get Osho DOK finally opens up and speaks about our sudden weight loss, which had previously have been a surprise to many Nigerians owing to the way she looked before. In fact, for so many years, uh, people are referred to Ronke Ojo as Ronke Osho DOK owing to our robust stature and uh, massive bosom. The had confessed a while ago that uh, she was even shocked to lose weight because her signature then was her large bosom. Even though she faced some challenges because of this uh, some years ago, she disclosed that it was hard for her finding her right bra size. And then she used to spend a lot of money on even getting the bras and she has to travel sometimes to get the bras from the US. And at once then, uh, getting my bra size can be very difficult. It makes it more expensive. I always want to pack myself. I wouldn't want to appear in a movie where I would need to run or walk fast and my boots uh, would be bouncing. I don't like it when you pack yourself very well. When anything happens, you're ready. I have to go the extra mile to look for good bras. I spend at least 10,000. This was uh, some years ago, 2015, there about. Uh, I spent at least 10,000 on a bra. At times, I get my perfect size when I travel abroad, especially in the US. If anybody's going to the US, the only favor that person can do for me is to buy bra for me. It is the only gift that I can appreciate from anybody, and it would make me happy. Uh, this was what she said in that interview, lamenting about her size and how uh, she used to struggle so much on getting a bra size. And then suddenly, uh, we started seeing pictures of Ronke Oshuduke uh, from our weight loss, which was a drastic one. You could see the difference. She was looking totally trimmed. And we started seeing the news that uh, she was terribly ill. And then another news uh, that said that she was promoting a weight loss tea. People were shocked that uh, people should start referring those weight loss tea to them. However, she has now come out to speak at length about all those things. Movie star revealed this in an interview with Jude Jidonwa and she revealed that she lost weight on her doctor's advice. According to her, she was weighing about 110 at that time and her doctor who resides in the UK told her to shed some weight. Not until she started feeling ill and having blood pressure. That was when she started taking his advice seriously and disclosed that she took a weight loss product to help her in shedding weight. And in her words, I went to the UK sometime, I have a doctor there and the doctor said lose weight. It was my doctor who said I should lose weight. I was 110 then, and he said I should lose weight to about 75. I was like, Lee, okay. But he said I should lose weight. So later on, I was just uh, doing my thing, but I started having small, small sickness, BP and stuff like that. So I just said, okay, let me start doing this. I was taking speedy weight loss at the beginning. I was too thin. I think then I was uh, around 82 from 110. So I now switched off to fat surrender. So that is what I take now. Now I'm between 86 and 87. It is not a scam, it does work, but you would know how to use it. Because if you use it too much, it may affect your liver. Like if you don't know how to use it, tell them if you want to buy, you have to eat. It is very important to eat. You have to eat because of your strength. If they listen to my advice, it will surely work for them. So according to this actress, uh, she was having some sickness and her doctor advised that to lose some weight. And that was why she started that weight loss training. All those pictures we've been seeing around, uh, people saying oh, she was terribly sick and all that. She's now uh, revealing that uh, she just had to lose it because of her health so that she won't be terribly sick. Ronke Oshodoki has been in this industry for a very long time. In fact, she started acting 26 years ago. She revealed this in an interview uh, with Punch newspapers. She shot into the limelight uh, 23 years ago after she started in the movie Oshodoki from which she earned her stage name. Ever since then, she has stayed in hundreds of movies. Please stay with us to get to know more about this actress, Ronke Oshodi OK. At the time she started acting, uh, 26 years ago, uh, she was asked in an interview if she had her parents' support. And she had this to say, at that time, most parents did not readily allow their children to join their theater, movie industry. My father attended Obafima Wulowo University, he was a very knowledgeable man. On the other hand, my mom was a grade two teacher. So when I told them I wanted to stop going to school, I knew there would be issues, but I had to support my parents and his. My father was facing some challenges at the time. It was tough paying my school fees because of the lack of funds. However, they wanted me to go to school by all means. 
I told them I would continue my academics at a later time. My dad did not take it lightly, but he finally succumbed. And how he got the stage name, and if it had anything to do with her body, well, she revealed this. I got the name from a movie I acted around 1999, and it had nothing to do with my boobs. The movie was set in Oshudu, UK, Lagos. Since then, that name has stuck to me. Well, many Nigerians believe that uh, Oshudu, UK actually has to do with her bosom. But why she decided to redefine her brand? Uh, for her, rebranding is normal. At some point, everyone in the entertainment industry would want to go through a rebranding process. That is why she deleted all the Instagram posts about three years ago. I started out fresh. On being in the movie industry for more than 20 years and how she would describe her experience, according to her, I thank God for my journey so far, it has been a wonderful one. 23 years is not a joke. I often tell people to make sure they enjoy whatever they do. I do not have any regrets. I'm doing what I like to do best. I'm getting paid for it. Are people saying that Nollywood is not lucrative and our opinion on this, according to her, if a pregnant woman falls ill, the child in her womb would also be sick. It is hard for me to say this, but Nigeria is a sick country. So some things that come out of it would be evil as well. If you are in the entertainment industry, just enjoy what you do and have a side business. Uh, the movie industry has never been lucrative, but as one grows, responsibilities and expenses naturally increase. One would need more money and would have to do other things to augment one's career. On the highlight of her career, the highlight of her career was when she did the comedy movie titled Rajumo. Though she was already known at the time, but after that movie was released, she became more popular. It opened her eyes to the comedy talents that uh, she never knew existed. On the lowest point of her career, uh, she has never had a low point. But in recent times, uh, she has not been acting as frequently as before. It is a personal decision. She doesn't want to appear everywhere and become predictable. On the things that almost made her give up on her career in the early days, according to her, because of the passion I have for acting, I've never thought of giving up at any point in my career. I don't have any regrets. I've always enjoyed my job. Acting could be a tedious job, despite how interesting it appears to be. If one is not hard working, one cannot do it. Meanwhile, if one is constantly working, one would not have time for oneself, talk more family. One would not even think of anything other than the job. Being an actor can be taxing, but I deliberately take things easy. So this is a little bit about it. And you have come to the end of this episode where Ronkyo Shuduki finally opens up and speaks about the sickness and uh, the sudden weight loss. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.